video released today shows the moments that led up to Modesto police shooting and killing a man. The release comes the same day that the man's family announced a lawsuit against the city and the police department. The shooting happened earlier this month. The family of the man who was shot say he shouldn't be dead. KCR 3's Maricela De La Cruz joining us right now live from Modesto. Modesto and Maricela, you heard from the family today. Yeah, Goldston, we heard from the entire family. They're all devastated. And this is exactly why yesterday they filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against the city of Modesto and the police department. Now, we reached out to both agencies. Uh, city leaders with the city of Modesto have yet to respond. But uh, Modesto Police Department did release a statement, and they also released that body cam video. I'm hurt. I'm broken. I can't seem to manage any emotion. 11 days after 31 year old Paul David Chavez Jr. died after an officer involved shooting in Modesto. I will come for both of the cops that were involved in my husband's murder. I can't see, stop seeing what I saw. My husband being tased, shot, looking at his bullet wound. His family has filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against the city and the officers involved. Those officers, Sam Muncy, a nine-year veteran with Modesto Police, and Sergio Valencia, who's been with the department for four years. An outrageous, outrageous shooting. And this young man should not be dead. A phone call about a disturbance led officers to a home off Entrada Way in Modesto on July 14th. He has a, 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 a hitch now, and he moved over to my neighbor's house, and he's in their yard, so he has weapons. This is where officers Muncie and Valencia found Chavez Jr. on the ground. Hi, sir. But after making contact, hey, hey, put that down. officers repeated the demand to put down a tow hitch at least a dozen times. Chavez kept on walking and ignoring directions. He was then tased, and 23 seconds after the initial instruction to put down the hitch, he was shot. I hear these stories all the time, and you never think it's going to be you. You don't think I'm going to wake up today and something tragic is going to happen to my family, and I'm going to deal with that. You don't wake up thinking that ever. Chavez died that evening at a Modesto hospital. The lawsuit alleges the use of excessive force against Chavez. This officer who engaged in this uh, should be criminally prosecuted. And I'm going to request that of the district attorney's office and or the agent attorney general's office. A spokesperson with the Molesto Police Department says that they comment they can't comment further on pending litigation. They did, however, confirm that both Muncie and Valencia are on paid administrative leave. And we also know that the Stanislaus County District Attorney's Office is also reviewing this shooting independently. Live in Modesto, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. Maricela, thank you. And the California Department of Justice did look into this particular shooting. It is standard procedure now under Assembly Bill 1506 that the department investigate deadly police shootings involving unarmed people. Their job was to look at and determine if the trailer hitch could have been considered a deadly weapon that day. And after reviewing the evidence, the Department of Justice determined not to investigate further.